This thought experiment starts from the standpoint given that the universe is deterministic. If we were in a deterministic universe, then the things we say and do are not dependent on our consciousness, therefore we would have no free will. Given that our universe is deterministic, it would imply that all things which occur in the universe are entirely dependent on the laws of physics and therefore could not have occurred any way other than how they did, assuming that quantum randomness is indifferent. Therefore, nothing external is necessary and consciousness does not affect the universe. So if consciousness is unable to affect the universe in some way, then it implies that another universe could exist exactly the same as ours, except without that element or background of consciousness. This universe would be filled with these pea zombies saying and doing exactly the same things that have been said and done in our universe while being completely unconscious. So in such a universe there would be a Descartes who said cogito ergo sum, yet did not think and was not. There would be thousands of pea zombies packed into churches trying to pray to a god that could not hear them because even though their neurons fire exactly the same as ours, there is no voice inside their head. There would even be a me zombie making this video and a you zombie watching this and fully thinking that they are conscious. This would imply, since our universes are physically indistinguishable, that consciousness must actually be some kind of fabrication or illusion existing in our brains and is not necessarily real. This, to me at least, the idea of a parallel zombie universe and the illusion of consciousness seem absurd to say the least. But it is logically true given that we have no free will. Now, I know you're probably halfway through a YouTube comment saying something along the lines of, but Leo, you are wrong. Just because we don't have free will does not imply that consciousness does not affect the universe. This is a fair criticism and one often relied on by anti-free will philosophers. But before you post that comment, let me explain what I mean by consciousness affecting the universe. In a scientific perspective, consciousness is a Darwinistic feature or survival mechanism just like any other and is a fabrication of the brain. Now, as we know from Darwinism, everything that is evolved or selected for serves a purpose towards survival and reproduction. But if consciousness is not the actor and is rather the viewer which watches things play out like a movie screen and is incapable of having free will and doing other than what the determined brain decides, then how is it affecting the brain and therefore the universe? Because if the brain only needs the laws of physics to operate, then the actual existence of consciousness is unnecessary because the neurological illusion can serve the same purpose. But because we know consciousness does exist, from a Darwinist standpoint, it means it must provide some form of metaphysical action based on the experience of the internal mind, which is the same as free will. Where exactly that action comes from or how it is able to act is a deeper question which no one really has the answer to. But if you watch my video, The Value of Consciousness, I think it will help deliver clarity on why and what consciousness really is fundamentally. So this video will definitely not settle the debate on free will once and for all, but I think it does highlight some of the absurd implications of not believing in free will. Also, I just want to state that many hard determinist philosophers are overly sure and pleased with themselves in regards to their conviction that we don't have free will, almost to the point where it is kind of unsettling. Take Robert Sapolsky, who claims that our society would actually be more just if we realized we are just molecules who don't have moral responsibility for our actions, no matter how cruel and evil they may seem. Or Daniel Dennett, who actually does accept the idea that consciousness is an illusion in order to be consistent in his beliefs about the scientifically determined universe. And although they may tell us that free will is nothing more than a comforting illusion, I think it's actually much more brave to accept our moral responsibility and our duty to the greater cosmos than it is to say our actions are meaningless and simply the result of the laws of physics. But in a world where the answer to this question is scientifically or philosophically undetermined, I would rather trust the evidence of my eyes and ears than that of the likes of Sapolsky and Dennett. But then again, you're welcome to make your own choice. After all, you do have... Um... Anyway, if you liked any part of this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel.
I make lots of videos on deep and meaningful topics in order to help others make sense of a seemingly insensible world. Please leave a comment on what you think about this thought experiment and your opinion on some of the questions addressed in this video. And as always, never stop questioning, talking, and thinking. Thank you.